What's up guys, it's Phil from NetGeek here. I'm here to tell you 10 things you might not have known about our band. Number one, I had a multitude of jobs before I was in Neck Deep, but the last one I had before the band sort of took off was I was a pizza delivery boy. Today we announced our signing to Hopeless Records. It was a Kerrang! exclusive announcement in the magazine. And I remember the magazine came out on, it was like a Wednesday, I think it comes out every Wednesday, and I, uh, I was working at the time, so I was halfway through delivering a pizza. I bunked it off, I went to the shop and I bought the magazine, I sat in my car and read the announcement that Ned Deep had signed to Hopeless Records whilst delivering a pizza. Number two, our new album, Life's Not Out To Get You, comes out August 14th. Little fun fact for you, there's a track on that album, I believe it's track two, that was actually going to be track 11 of Wishful Thinking. We had it recorded, ready, and it was on all the inlays and all the sleeves and stuff, and then at the last minute, we decided to take it off because it was going to be an exclusive for something else and then it never kind of got used so it ended up being a new track on Life's Night to Get You so that one might have a bit more of the wishful thinking vibes than uh, some of the others. Number three, fun facts about West, our guitar player. He has a massive obsession with the country Japan. That's not much of a secret but he also collects crazy Japanese robot toys like Gundam and all that crazy stuff and he's been to Japan like three times already and has one of the biggest collections of toy robots I've ever seen. Number four, our EP called A History of Bad Decisions, up until very late in the game, was actually going to be called Jimmy Rustler. So that's what it was going to be called. And then at the last minute, we kind of changed it to our option B, which is A History of Bad Decisions. And uh, yeah, I'm glad we changed it. But Jimmy Rustler, there you go, if you didn't know. Number five, for those of you who follow us closely, you will probably know our tour manager, Nui. A lot of you like him a lot more than you like our band. Fun fact, we picked him up when uh, we did our first Australian tour. He is an Australian man. He was given to us through the guy who booked the tour as like a temporary tour manager to help us get through the week. And uh, by the end of that week, we'd already like decided he was gonna work with us forever. And he's pretty much been on every single tour we've ever done since then. And we didn't give him a choice. We just picked him up and was like, that's it man, we've known you for like, six days and you work for us now and that's it and it's been two years now and he's been everywhere with us so. number six as you guys know we're a british band and a lot of you ask us about like the sort of words we use and what we're always quoting from so really good show for you guys to watch that we all watch is called the in-betweeners i know they made a u.s version but if you get the proper uk version it's amazing and you'll probably learn a lot about the way we talk just through watching that show, I think. So, yeah, The Inbetweeners. It's like three seasons and two movies. Check it out. Number seven. You guys probably know of Laura Whiteside. She sang on the song called A Part of Me With Us. She's uh, very close to us. And little fun facts that you might not know, she actually sings some harmonies on quite a few tracks on Wishful Thinking. I'm like 99% sure she sings on the chorus of Damsel. Uh, Damsel in Distress, I think it's track five, so. If you guys are big Laura Whiteside fans and you didn't know that before, go listen to the track again and maybe you can just hear that beautiful girl voice just in that chorus there. It's very subtle, but yeah, she's in a lot more of our stuff than you guys probably realise. Number eight, some of the jobs I had, I used to work in TK Maxx, which you guys probably know as TJ Maxx, because in the UK it's called TK Maxx, and I worked there for a year, and I wore the beige polo top and the black pants, so... TK Maxx represent. Number nine, before I was in Nick Deep, I was actually at uh, university, which is what you guys call college, to study, I was studying digital media production, or digital film production specifically, and I wanted to like, I used to film music videos freelance, and I wanted to work in film, and then my first love of music managed to sustain me, and I got to do that, so. Fun fact, I used to work, I used to like study film production at schools. Number 10, a little fun fact about me that you might not know. I'm really into illustration. I've recently taken some classes in illustration and I want to one day like illustrate a kid's book. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. It's Phil from Neck Deep saying thank you so much for watching our 10 facts you might not have known about Neck Deep. I hope you know lots more about us now. We can all be closer because of it. Hey.